Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Lately, I've noticed this trend of people using profanity more and more in just a normal conversation. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't give in to trends. But if it's a trend about cursing, <laughs> you f***ing bet I won't f***ing go against a f***ing trend like f***ing that. Sailor Mouth is the episode where Spongebob and Patrick discover bad words and start using them without realizing what they are, and when they found out what they were, they would get remanded by Mr. Krabs if they ever used those bad words again. This episode aired on September 21st, 2001, and it's the first appearance of Mr. Krabs' mom, Betsy Krabs. Including this episode, Mrs. Krabs has six appearances in the main series, with her last appearance as of May 2023 being in episode 380, Lame and Fortune from season 9, albeit in a fantasy sequence. If that doesn't count, her latest appearance is from episode 201, Spongicus from season 6. This episode also introduces bad word number 11, which is... And it's also something that pretty much every human being who's ever even remotely heard of Spongebob knows about. Easily, one of the most iconic, well-known moments of the show. And with that, this episode has sparked some controversy because it assumed this episode was teaching young children that it was okay to swear. I never understood that because they clearly show that there are consequences to our actions. This episode was inspired by an incident involving then Spongebob series creative director Derek Dryman accidentally saying f in front of his mother. Spongebob and Patrick running to tell on each other is pretty much how it occurred in real life and Mr. Krabs saying all 13 bad words near the end came from Dryman's mom having a sailor mouth herself. Of course, because this involves bad words, Nickelodeon wasn't allowed to use a regular bleep to censor out the profanity. So Steven Hillenberg asked if they could use a dolphin noise instead, and that was approved. Since this episode also uses bad words, everybody wondered what the cast members were saying in the recording studio in real life. Well, in 2015, Tom Kenny said in an interview that the cast members were actually swearing in the studio, and it was just easier to censor out the words that way. Wow. Knowing that the cast members actually swore just makes this whole episode even better. And now with all that established, let's watch this episode and see if it deserved to get the controversy it received. So the episode starts up and the title card music has vocals crammed onto it. It was closing time at the Krusty Krab and Mr. Krabs told Spongebob to take out the trash. Spongebob found some writing on the dumpster and started reading it. Isn't that dumpster writing basically just graffiti? Spongebob found a sentence describing Mr. Krabs that had a bad word in it. The garbage man scolded him for saying the bad word, and then Patrick arrived. Spongebob asked Patrick what that word meant, and Patrick thought that it was a fancy word used to enhance a sentence, so to speak. They start to repeat that word to each other in conversation, and thought their lips were tingling from their enhanced conversation. Bad words do f***ing enhance a conversation, don't they? The next morning, Spongebob walked into the Krusty Krab and said the bad word to the customers and to Patrick, much to everybody's shock. He then made an announcement about the Daily Special and used that word in there too, and everybody was surprised. Except for some octopus kids. Since when does the Krusty Krab have specials? Spongebob and Patrick said the word to Squidward and all the customers left in disgust. Mr. Krabs saw that everybody had gone, and Squidward told him that they left because of the words Spongebob said over the intercom. When Mr. Krabs found out what they said, he told Spongebob and Patrick that the sentence enhancer wasn't fancy talk at all. It was a bad word. Spongebob and Patrick were in shock and felt ashamed when they realized they were cursing the whole time. Mr. Krabs said they were saying bad word number 11, and that there were a total of 13 bad words you should never use. That's a lot of bad words. Spongebob and Patrick promised Mr. Krabs they'll never say that word again. Why didn't Mr. Krabs freak out over Patrick saying the bad word again? Later on, Spongebob and Patrick were relieved to learn that the word was a bad word. They start to play a game of eels and escalators, but Spongebob kept getting eels and Patrick kept getting escalators. Spongebob got increasingly frustrated and had one last chance because he would lose if he got the eels again. Spongebob did get escalators before he got eels, but what if the dice rolled one eel and one escalator? Spongebob got so pissed and accidentally slipped out bad word number 11. Patrick was in shock and despite Spongebob's begging, Patrick ran out to tell Mr. Krabs. Patrick accidentally slipped out that word too and Spongebob decided to tell Mr. Krabs on him. Spongebob arrived at the Krusty Krab first and tried to tell Mr. Krabs that Patrick said 
but SpongeBob couldn't get to the point, and then Patrick arrived and he and SpongeBob started arguing. Mr. Krabs made them calmly say what they wanted to say, and he found out they both said <coughs> again, and Mr. Krabs was not happy when he heard this. He took them outside and told them to wait for him to come back. SpongeBob and Patrick were worried about what would happen to them, and then they agreed to not use bad words ever again. Mr. Krabs planned to make them paint the Krusty Krab as their punishment, but he hits his foot on a rock and starts f***ing saying all 13 f***ing bad words in one fell f***ing swoop. Aww, I want to count to 13 on both hands. SpongeBob and Patrick run to Mr. Krabs' mom's house to tell on him. When they tell her, they end up saying all 13 bad words anyway, and Mrs. Krabs ended up fainting at the sound of this. Mr. Krabs was so upset about his mom fainting, but then she regained consciousness and punished all three of them for cursing by making them paint her house. After some time passes, she decides to reward them with some lemonade, but she hits her foot on a rock, and they all thought she cursed, but the sound was just Old Man Jenkins' jalopy. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs laugh at this, and the episode ends. Of course Mama Krabs didn't say a bad word. The other three already said all 13. So that was Sailor Mouth, and that is one f of an awesome episode. There's so much to say about this one. But this time, I want to start by addressing the controversy surrounding this episode. Because of how much the characters swore, it could come off as this episode is telling kids that it's okay to say bad words in real life. While I understand the concern, I think the people who say this are those who haven't seen this episode at all. Because when SpongeBob and Patrick realize is a bad word, they instantly regret saying that. This episode was aware of this word being vulgar, as evidenced by everybody's reaction when they heard it. SpongeBob and Patrick didn't like the fact that they used a bad word, and they knew they shouldn't say that word again. And even though they were trying, SpongeBob accidentally slipped it out when he was getting frustrated at eels and escalators. Maybe this could have been the scene those articles were referring to? But then again, I call bullshit on that. SpongeBob slipped it out because he was frustrated. Everybody gets frustrated or angry from time to time, and people act irrationally when they get angry. My dad would always get frustrated with his job when his sports team was losing, or politics, and he would always swear when complaining about them. The first time SpongeBob and Patrick realized they were cursing, they promised Mr. Krabs they'll never say it again. When Mr. Krabs realized they were saying that word again, despite making it very clear to never say bad words again, he planned on punishing them for those actions. SpongeBob and Patrick learn their lesson and decide to never curse again. Mr. Krabs then hits his foot on a rock and says all the bad words. If this was the scene in question they're referring to, to that I say, Mr. Krabs is a clear adult and it's more okay for adults to swear than children. But Mikey, you're probably yelling, SpongeBob and Patrick are adults too. Well, yes, but SpongeBob is too nice to swear, and Patrick is too blissfully aware to know what those words mean, which is another reason why everybody was shocked when they were saying those words. I remember I said a bad word in front of a friend in high school, and he chuckled because he thought I was too nice of a guy to say a word like that. But Mikey, you're still yelling, he just shared the other 12 words in front of SpongeBob and Patrick. And that's true. But then Mr. Krabs got his comeuppance when SpongeBob and Patrick tell his mom. But when they tell her, they all say the bad words instead of saying something like, Mama Krabs, Mr. Krabs hurt his foot, and we just witnessed your own son say all 13 bad words. But since they said all the bad words, she fainted out of shock, and when she regained consciousness, she punished all three of them for talking like sailors. This is a clear example of there being consequences to our actions. You keep swearing in front of your parents, they will punish you until you learn your lesson. And even though the three main characters do curse throughout the whole time, this episode still makes it very clear that you shouldn't curse a lot. I remember I said a bad word as a kid, and when I said it again, despite being warned, my mom slapped me pretty hard, and I learned my lesson after that. If this episode didn't care if kids were using vulgar language, it wouldn't have taught that lesson at all. So in my opinion, I think the controversy about this episode is a little unnecessary because the episode was never being malicious in the first place. Now that we've covered that, I want to go over some fun facts. Even though this episode says there are 13 bad words and Mr. Krabs supposedly says all of them, he actually only says 10. The wiki shows the bad words are the dolphin noise, a sea lion barking, a tugboat horn, air horn, three different variants of a steam whistle, seagull calls, locomotive bells, and a fog horn that sounds similar to SpongeBob's alarm clock. That's only 10. 
And no, we're not counting what Ms. Moss said because it was very clearly the jalopy horn. Despite the fact that Mr. Krabs says there's 13 bad words, in real life there's 26 bad words, not just 13. And Squidward's line, Don't you mean there are only seven? is a reference to George Carlin's seven words you can never say on TV routine. And if you listen closely, when Squidward whispers to Mr. Krabs, he says, Johnny Vandalism. I can understand where he's coming from because whenever I go into a city, I always see walls vandalized. And now with all that stated, this episode is still a banger. The curse words themselves are handled very well, using noises you'd only hear out by the ocean like a dolphin noise, tugboat horn, fog horn, etc. makes perfect sense for this show. Also, Spongebob and Patrick cursing in general, that's just amazing. Need I say more? The faces Mr. and Mama Krabs make when they hurt their feet are hilarious. I was laughing so hard when Mr. Krabs was cursing up a storm. It's so good. I also love when Spongebob and Patrick are racing to the Krusty Krab and Patrick rode on an ice cream truck that went in a different direction. The octopus family is really funny and so are the interactions between Spongebob and Mr. Krabs when Spongebob tells off Patrick. The Eels and Escalators board game is pretty great too, but let's be real, you couldn't help but wonder what would happen if somebody rolled one eel and one escalator. The dolphin noise is so iconic that it would be brought back in modern Spongebob and even as an exchange between Mr. Krabs and Plankton in the Spongebob musical. There are some great character moments in this episode too. I like how Mr. Krabs is more of a fatherly figure towards Spongebob and Patrick in this episode, reprimanding them when they discovered that Johnny Vandalism is a bad word, and only really punishing them if they said bad words again despite making it clear they won't say them again. I also like when Spongebob defends Squidward at the beginning when he thinks Mr. Krabs is calling Squidward a pile of filth, and the exchange between the two pirates. This episode is so great, there's so much to love in this one. The cursing is implemented well, and there are so many funny scenes throughout. But if anything, the main takeaway should be, don't listen to those clickbait articles because they're all lies. Oh right, and Eels and Escalators is now a real life board game. The escalators you put together yourself, but it doesn't use dice like in the episode, it uses cards instead. So you have to take the good with the bad. Sailor Mouth is such an awesome episode. I think everything it set out to do, it achieved it pretty cleverly. The curse words were implemented pretty well, and all the characters are so strong in this one. The controversy this episode faced was pretty unnecessary in my opinion, because they always intended on teaching kids that swearing is bad anyway. And if anything, I think that makes this episode even better because it was daring as well as funny. We all curse from time to time, it's one of humanity's natural instincts. And if you're out there saying you don't curse at all, you f***ing liar.